In this video, I'm going to show you how to wirelessly tether to a computer with the CamRanger 2. The CamRanger 2 works with Canon, Nikon, Sony, and Fujifilm cameras. Here we have it connected to a Canon 5D Mark III. I'll shoot a few pictures. Now I'm shooting RAW only, and with the quick RAW mode, you can see how quickly the images transfer and display. I have it attached with an L bracket. There's a mounting screw hole on the bottom of the cam ranger that allows you to attach it to a hot shoe adapter, tripod clamp, L bracket, or a number of other options. You can wirelessly tether up to 500 feet with no cords to trip over. And the tethering works a little bit differently than other tethering you might be familiar with. With the cam ranger, images are not only transferred, they're also saved to the camera's SD card where they can be accessed later. Additionally, there's an SD card in the Cam Ranger for further backup or more advanced workflows. So you can see here, this is the Cam Ranger app that we're using to display images. But you can also shoot directly into Lightroom. Now let's jump into a screen recording and I'll show you the configuration and setup for shooting directly into Lightroom. Here we are on the computer in Lightroom. Now I'm using a Mac. But the process is basically the same if you're using a Windows computer. We're going to be using Lightroom's Auto Import function, accessed from the menu bar and Auto Import Settings. This Watched folder is important. Any images that get saved or moved to this folder will automatically get moved to this Destination folder and automatically imported into Lightroom. And as you can see, you can change and set where these folder locations are. And then of course you can do all the normal Lightroom import settings, whether it be custom file names, develop settings, etc. Now it's important after you have these configured to click Enable Auto Import so that it actually turns Auto Import on. We'll go ahead and select OK. Now let's launch our CamRanger 2 app. You'll note image transfer only mode is checked. When this is checked, the app will connect and load a special mode that only transfers images. So you won't see any of the normal camera controls or image view. It only does image transfer. Secondly, we'll access the settings and you'll note this download directory. This tells the Cam Ranger where to save images on the computer. So it's important that we have this directory saved to the same location as the auto import folder in Lightroom. And that's how we have it set up. So let's go ahead and connect and see how this works. Actually, I'll pull up a finder window so we can see what's going on behind the scenes. So this is our auto import folder which is also the download directory. I'll go ahead and take a picture. You'll see the Cam Ranger downloads it to the download folder where Lightroom can then see it. Lightroom then moves it over and then imports it in. Let's see that one more time. Take a picture. Cam Ranger transfers it. Lightroom is then monitoring for changes. It sees it, moves it over, and imports it into Lightroom. So that's how you wirelessly tether into Lightroom with the Cam Ranger 2. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to view and find out about upcoming videos.